Hello friends and welcome back to online study for you and today I am here again with one more important topic and today I am going to discuss about electrical engineering exam in MCAT. Since it is a requested video and I am really thankful to you because you people are letting us know that what you want to see are on our channel. So thank you for telling us that what you need and here we go with the topic. In this video my main focus will be on electrical engineering uh, topic that is the subject particular subject those who are from electrical engineering and they are looking for the session so this is basically for you guys here there are in MCAT exam there are a certain number of modules that are compulsory for all the candidates appearing for the MCAT exam these modules I have already discussed in detail but here I am telling you just a uh, about the module name and number of questions and time duration required. See, the first compulsory module is the English one and in English you have to uh, solve 18 questions in 16 minutes. I have discussed detailed syllabus for English already in my previous video. For English, I am telling you a few topics uh, I'm telling you a few topics here such as antonym synonyms error detection and uh, comprehension etc you have to prepare for this section then the next compulsory module will be quant quantitative aptitude you may say in this section also there are uh, 16 questions and time duration will be of 18 minutes Topics like HCF, LCM, time and work, profit loss and mixture and allegation and some other topics like concepts of geometry, trigonometry and advanced mathematics you have to prepare for the section. The next and the third compulsory module is logical ability. Here number of questions will be 14 in number and the time duration is of 16 minutes. Then after this the next compulsory module is aspiring minds personality inventory and in short form people may uh, read it as AMPI that is aspiring minds personality inventory. In this module there will be 90 question and time duration will be of 20 minutes. And after this the next compulsory module is information gathering and synthesis. Here the number of question will be 15 and time allocation will be of 20 minutes. So if you are from electrical engineering branch you have to choose this module as optional module 1 and people also choose optional module 2 as computer programming and instrumentation but it is preferred that they choose computer programming it will be more helpful to them and optional module 1 is of electrical engineering here in this module the number of question will be 25 and you will be allotted 30 minutes for that time allocation will be of 30 minutes question will be 25 so basically this is a domain based uh, module for electrical engineering students now let us see what topics you have to prepare for this module so for electrical engineering uh, the exam is divided into three categories and then their subcategories are there the first category is fundamental of electrical engineering here in this first category you will be asked question from basic electrical engineering electrical machines or power machines topic from uh, kirchhoff's law node and mesh loop yeah electrical loop circuits etc can be asked from this category the next category you have to prepare for electrical engineering is instrumentation and control sorry it's instrumentation and control 
here in this section you have to look for instruments and measurements and your main focus should be of parameters parameters like current voltage energy their units and then comes the knowledge of instruments then comes the control system very important as well as very some people consider it as a very difficult one because there are so many important topics such as board plots state space models you have to prepare so your focus should be more on control system as a lot of topics are there in control system and then comes the third category that is of electronics and in this category you have to focus mainly on analog and dig digital electronics in analog and digital electronics you must know about basic concepts like what are analog and digital and what are analog converters digital converters what is analog to digital converter and what is the difference basic difference between them and then you have to prepare the basic concepts of power electronics so guys these topics you have to study thoroughly and there are number of books you can go through and you can uh, search for some previous years questions so that you can get idea how questions are going to come in exam and what can be the difficulty level now it is very difficult to predict the difficulty and uh, level of the exam because see question can change so it's advisable for you to uh, try to search out some previous year questions to just get the idea of the exam so guys this is it for today's session i hope this session will be useful for you and for such more videos you can like share and subscribe our channel thank you video acha laga ho to ise like kare aur abhi tak agar aapne hamare channel ko subscribe nahi kiya hai to please ise subscribe kare aur nayi video ke notification ke liye bell icon ko dabaye